Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your number one source for income-oriented investing. In today's video, I'm gonna give you my opinion on where I think is the best place to park cash short term. Um, so, you know, GICs in Canada or CD certificate of deposits that's in the US are gaining a lot of popularity lately because interest rates are going up and you could actually get, you know, five or even close to 6% with these instruments. But in case you didn't know, I cannot stand GICs. I cannot stand CDs. I think there's much, much better alternatives to park or store your cash safe, uh, you know, a short term rather so uh, i get this question all the time i have you know people want to have like to have an emergency fund they uh got some money they're gonna need it in six months or a year for a down payment on a house or something and they just want a very very safe place to park their money and typically um you know a financial advisor would typically advise you to go with a gic but i cannot stand them because you're locked in it's not tax efficient at all and there's many many GIC alternatives on both the Canadian and the US market so let's check them out together right now all right everyone let's start with the Canadian stock market and if you're American if you want options on the US stock market you could just use the YouTube chapters below to fast forward to the US market so let's take a look at some great options on the Canadian market in my opinion everyone my top recommendation, my top choice would be the brand new SPLT ETF from Brompton. So um, I've done a video um, regarding, here's one, here it is, are GICs worth it? And in here I talk about how I hate GICs. I'm not going to get into that now. Obviously I can't stand them, but in that video I give an alternative that the split share fund preferred shares are a great alternative. They're more tax efficient. You'll get higher yield. They're very, very safe. Um, but you would have to choose which one you want. There's many of them. SPLT solve this pro solves this problem for you. I actually just released a video uh, on this four days ago as I'm filming this last, last Sunday. I highly recommend to check out this video. It, it explains SPLT in detail, what split share fund preferred shares are. My recommendation, my number one choice, bar none on the Canadian stock market, I would go with this because this is an all-in-one solution which combines many, many split share fund, preferred share funds, all in one ETF. You have over 6% yield. This is gonna be very, very tax efficient because it's gonna be mostly eligible dividends. If you go to the portfolio, you see them here. It's basically, you have a bunch, I don't know why the percentages are not here right now, but you have pretty much all or almost all the preferred split share fund preferred shares on the canadian market all in one so you have even less risk than owning picking and choosing like a dfn preferred or lbs preferred etc etc you got them all in here another thing that's really interesting and i discuss it in my video here is that a lot of the split share fund preferreds are actually trading at discounts and as the maturity dates get closer they uh it should you should have capital appreciation. So not only do I think you'll get a very, very stable $10 stock price, uh, of course, it's not going to be perfect. It could go up and down, but it's mostly going to stay near $10, in my opinion, over 6% yield. And just to show you quickly what I'm talking about, if you look at some of the preferred shares of a split share fund, some of them, a lot of them are actually trading at discounts right now. You see that here, look at DGS here. It's worth 10 11 and you could buy it for 983. Look at GDV. You could buy it for 934, but it's worth 1006, et cetera, et cetera. So once these maturity dates get closer and closer, where you could, because uh, remember, preferred shares, split share fund preferred shares, you could actually hand in your shares back every five years, which is the maturity date, at $10. So if something is at 934, you could hand it in for $10 the following week or the following month, what's gonna happen? Well, people are gonna start buying them at 934 because you could give them back at $10, right? It's not rocket science. So as these we get closer to these maturity dates, uh, the value will go up, which will increase the value of SPLT. So not only do you have capital appreciation potential, you have a solid deal and uh, you're getting eligible dividends instead of interest, which is what uh, GICs give you. So you have more tax efficiency, higher income as well. And it's an ETF you could buy and sell it whenever you want. So there is no lock-in period. So this is my number one choice by far on the Canadian market. But 
If you're not comfortable with this, you just want a simple cash savings ETFs. There's a ton of them on the Canadian market, which kind of all do the same thing. They all work the same way. It's literally like putting your money in a savings account. This is a cash savings ETF with zero, zero risk. There's many of them. There is HISA from Evolve ETFs. There is, uh, this one is PSA. That is the stock symbol from Purpose ETFs. You have CSAVE from CI. There, uh, you also have cash from Horizons. They all work the same way. It's basically, they just give you a monthly income based on the current interest rate. So they're all hovering about five, five and a half percent yield right now, which is uh, not very common. That's because interest rates go up. So the cool thing about these things compared to GICs, you could buy and sell them whenever you want. They will give you interest income, however. So if you hold this in a cash account, you are getting interest income. But monthly income is really, really cool. And uh, if you look at the stock chart for pretty much all of them, here's the cash one from Horizons. It's all going to look the same. It's bas They basically all hover near the $50 mark. And these little up and downs, this is literally when they're paying out that monthly dividend. These goes to $50.19, then it goes back down to $50.05, and then it goes to, it's just the interest being paid out every single month. So then the stock price goes down once the interest gets paid out. Very, very simple, very, very safe. This is literally exactly the same, like putting your money in a, in a savings account at a bank. That's literally what it is. If you look at holdings on any one of them, you just see national bank cash account, CIBC cash account, Scotia bank cash account. Typically they put them all with the one of the six big banks, all exactly the same. However, Horizons does have a very interesting option called H save. So that is the stock symbol is also an ETF. And instead of the main difference between H save and cash or the other ones is that there is no monthly income. Horizons actually reinvests it for you. This means that your ETF or this ETF, although it doesn't give you monthly income, it does appreciate over time a little bit because they're reinvesting that interest. So if you look at the cash chart, it looks like this, it's flat. But if you look at the H safe chart, you'll see a gradual, very slow increase. Here's one year, it's up 5% in the last year. So this is a good option if you're in a higher tax bracket, if you don't want to pay taxes on the monthly interest, what you could do is you buy this ETF, after a year, you could sell it and it's going to be at a higher price and you're going to pay capital gains taxes, not interest taxes, right? Because if you buy something at one price and sell it at another, that's capital gain. So this is a cool way to avoid interest, paying interest income uh, taxes, which is the least efficient tax, uh, least efficient tax in, in, in Canada, or it's taxed the most in Canada. So that I just wanted to mention that little alternative. I think uh, if you're asking me which one has the lowest MER, they all have approximately 0.15 MERs except for cash from Horizons. I believe it's the lowest at 0.11. So my recommendation is probably out of all of these is obviously cash right now, I guess, but you could take the other ones just because it has a lower MER, but they're pretty much identical. But uh, in Canada, my number one recommendations Recommendation to park cash is definitely SPLT bar none. Let's look at the US market now. So uh, you know what, I won't even pause the video, I'll just keep going. So in the US market, there is a bunch of cash savings ETFs as well. Uh, I talked about it in a previous video, but I'm gonna give you two options that I think are better. My number one recommendation, which I would, you know, I don't hold cash, but if I would, I would probably put it in this ETF. Very, very interesting. It's called High from Simplify ETFs. And this ETF, what they basically do is they do um, short dated put or call spreads on the most liquid global equity indices. So it, they have a video here you could watch which explains it in detail. You might have to watch it two or three times to fully understand it. It does sound very, very complicated because it uses options uh, to generate a substantial yield. But check this out, the distribution yield is over 9%. So you might be thinking, well, is this safe? How safe is, is this? Well, it this ETF came out in October. Check this out, guys. Look at the chart. It's literally started at 25 and now it's at 24.97. So the stock chart really shows stability, very, very stable. I think my opinion here, although this is not really a cash savings ETF, is a great place to park money short term. You could get a really, really nice high yield. It, very, very incredible here. But if you don't understand how this works, if you're not comfortable with it, by the way, 0.51 MER, uh, don't don't invest in it. But you know, if you look at what, what it has, you could actually see here. 
that they're doing those put or call call spreads, short dated call or put spreads. They're doing it on the SPX, which is the S&P 500, on TLT, which is the iShares 20 year government bond. So this, you know, this strategy here, this option strategy that's called the short dated put or call spreads, it's a very basic boring strategy to to uh, to generate some yield. So this is an option. If it's too complicated for you, don't really understand. Um, my number, my other choice, other number one choice, if you want more like a cat, just cash savings ETF, very interesting CSHI from NEO. So I recently um, interviewed the co-founder of NEO to talk about their SPY I ETF, which I really think is cool. Uh, I did a video on it, but they also have a cash alternative ETF here. If you look at the stock chart, it kind of looks like the same thing cash is doing. This is basically just the monthly distribution being paid out. So this is essentially holds um, mostly short term US government bonds. So it's gonna have a, probably a little bit more yield than just cash, but the performance is good. They have monthly distributions that are probably gonna be increasing as interest rates go up. And by the way, that's a, a very good advantage of cash savings ETFs versus CDs or GICs. When you typically lock in a CD or a GIC, that interest rate is locked in. What if interest rates go up the following month? Well, you don't get more money, but with a cash savings in ETF, your distribution will go up. You clearly see that here. Uh, the distributions are going up slightly. And if you look at cash as well, if you look at distributions, I have no doubt we'll see the same thing because as interest rates um, go up, you know, the, the distribution will go up slightly as well. So in my opinion, these are your top choices for both Canada and the US. Again, my top choice in Canada is SPLT. If it's a little bit too complicated for you, you just want a simple cash savings ETF, you have cash uh, or any one of these C-Save, PSA, HISA. If you don't need to get paid monthly, you'd rather have capital gains to pay. HSAVE is a really cool option for Horizons. And on the US side, you have high. Watch this video. If you still don't understand and not comfortable with it, you have a really cool option here that'll give you about 6.5% yield, guys. CSHI from NEO's Cash Alternative ETF. Hopefully, this video was informative. You now have a place to park your cash short term. I, I would appreciate a thumbs up on the video and see you next time. Hey, don't go yet. A few reminders before you leave. Did you know that I launched a YouTube loyalty membership program where for only $3 a month, you could become a PII Inner Circle member where you will gain access to exclusive content, exclusive videos and live streams, as well as other perks and benefits, including a really cool weekly opportunity report. That's right. If you're interested, just click on the little join button next to the subscribe button to see what it's all about. Also, make sure to follow me on Blossom and download Blossom. It's a social investing app, which is really cool. You could share your portfolio, follow other people's portfolios, including my own. My username is Adrian underscore PII. So download it with the referral link below. Not only is it free, but you could actually earn cash by taking these really small, quick one minute courses. Really awesome. It's a no brainer. Also, make sure to visit our website, PassiveIncomeInvesting.ca. That's where you could book a one-on-one -on -one private coaching session with yours truly, with myself, where you could ask me all the questions you want. All the information and booking information is on the website. Make sure to check out that video on the homepage there to see how to book a one-on-one -on -one properly. Also on my website, you could purchase my digital product, which I'm very proud of, the Ultimate DIY Investing Package. This is a reference tool or a companion tool that will help you build your own portfolio. So it has lists of funds, it has sample portfolios, and it covers both the Canadian and US stock markets. And the good news is you'll only ever have to buy it once because it comes with free lifetime updates. And my plan is really to update the version every single year. So make sure to pick it up. Also, I have Questrade and Passive referral links below. So Questrade is the broker that I personally use and Passive is the broker companion tool or companion 
uh, or assistant that I use, really cool program, really cool software. So I have referral links for both of those, Questrade, $50 of free trades, and passive, I have half off for the elite membership. If you're interested in the elite membership, and even if you wanna start out with the free membership and upgrade to the elite afterwards, use my referral code so you could still get that 50% off. And don't forget that the elite membership of passive is 100% free if you use Questrade. For social media, we have a very successful and big Facebook group, private Facebook group with over 14,000 members where we all try to help each other out. So make sure to join that group. Information is, in, is below. We also have Instagram where you could follow us or more personal stuff uh, when it comes to our life here in Panama. And there's LinkedIn as well. So as usual, everyone, how do I leave you? Continue to stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay passive. See you next time.